the tax test um, that the students were taking in fifth grade for math is one that they have to pass. And so they are given three options to pass. And so after the first administration, we had a group of fifth graders who were not successful on the fifth grade math test. We could continue to do tutoring, which we had been doing, or we could look for an alternative way of helping those children, and that's what we were trying to do. We were trying to find something to use that was going to make a difference and was going to keep the children engaged and allow the teacher to get across to them what they needed to have. What's neat about Plato was that uh, we were able to create an individualized learning path for each student. We took the test data from the first administration, uh, analyzed it, took their weakest objectives, and then um, were able to use Plato to hone in on those objectives. And so we used it as a station during our tutoring time. We had four kids on one side of the room uh, working on Plato, and then four kids on the other while we were working uh, with small groups and tutoring them. And um, it was just, the results were incredible. We had uh, 14 kids who passed, two of them were commended, and so needless to say, we purchased the program and began using it at the beginning of this year. One of the ways that we're using um, the products um, that we now have, both the uh, foundational math and the straight curve, is not just for remediation like we did with our fifth graders last year, but it's also to take students and take them further. In other words, we understand that maybe the concept that we want them to look at is a little bit difficult for them, but they can go much further and they can take that and excel with it. They can even, we have students who are like a grade level or two above where they should be in math. And those students now have the capability of really working with, with materials that allow them to grow and do what they need to do in order to advance also. With the uh, technology, I'm seeing that the kids are really eager to learn. They love to get on the computer. They love to show me what they've learned. I can see already assessing them, even on their standardized tests and tests that I've made in the classroom, they're doing so much better. Their achievement scores are increasing just by that, some other additional um, method of learning besides just regular teacher, here's a worksheet, get it done, finish it. They're really excited about learning. Awesome. Using technology in the classroom to help my teaching has been a great tool. I love the fact that I can engage the students um, uh, on something other than focusing on myself. They are engaged in the TV, uh, looking at the screen, as well as my voice and what I'm saying. So technology coming into the classroom helps get the kids excited. They love technology, so it really gets their interest and it intrigues them. I love the overview component that's on that program. So when we're talking about in our grade level meetings that we're going to do patterns, we can pull that up and we can just look at the whole thing and what, what portions of it do we want to use and when. Um, because we don't sit down and we don't use the whole um, pattern block at one time. I mean, it may be like we, this is our second week that we're doing patterns. We'll, do, we'll be doing another week on patterns. So it really gives us um, some extra oomph, I guess you would call it, with our kids because we can do our regular activities that, um, that we've planned for patterns, but then when we realize we're starting to lose them, we have that great tool with, with straight curve that just pulls them right back in and gets, gets their attention again. So it gives us something, it's like our little magic bag, you know, that we can just pull out whenever we need something great that really will pull their attention back and get us back on track. The classroom imp implementation actually makes it easier because now we have a product that we can be using in every classroom at the same time if that's what we choose to do. So the teacher isn't limited to having to schedule into a lab and meet a rigid schedule. They can use the product when they need it and how they want to use it to best get their students to where they need them to be. I think one of the reasons why Straight Curve has been so successful and, and again, we've only been using it for just a few weeks since school has started, um, is that this staff knows and understands that we have a need and that they all bought in to this program. I don't have one staff member who is not actively engaging and using this program and wanting to do a better job 
at using this program. And I think that's the key because, again, this is a tool, and the tool is only as good as the teacher that teaches it.